Investing is often seen as a balancing act between risk and return. Understanding this relationship is crucial for anyone looking to grow their wealth. Let's dive into the concept of total risk, which is essentially the overall uncertainty associated with an investment's return. Total risk can be broken down into two main components, systematic risk and unsystematic risk. Systematic risk, also known as market risk, is the type of risk that affects the entire market or a significant portion of it. Think of it as the tide that lifts or lowers all boats. This includes factors like economic recessions, interest rate changes, or geopolitical events. No matter how well a company performs, it can still be affected by these external forces. For example, during a market downturn, even the most stable companies can see their stock prices plummet. This is why diversification alone cannot eliminate systematic risk. It's inherent to the market itself. On the other hand, we have unsystematic risk, which is specific to a particular company or industry. This type of risk can arise from factors like management decisions, product recalls, or competitive pressures. For instance, if a tech company faces a major lawsuit over a patent infringement, its stock may take a hit, regardless of how the overall market is performing. The good news is that unsystematic risk can be mitigated through diversification. By spreading investments across various sectors and companies, you can reduce the impact of any single investment's poor performance on your overall portfolio. Now, let's talk about how these risks relate to potential returns. Generally, higher risk is associated with the potential for higher returns. This is the fundamental principle of investing. If you want to achieve greater returns, you must be willing to accept greater risk. However, it's essential to assess your risk tolerance how much risk you're comfortable taking on. This varies from person to person and can depend on factors like age, financial goals, and investment timeline. Investors often use metrics like the Sharpe Ratio to evaluate the risk-adjusted return of an investment. This ratio helps you understand how much excess return you're receiving for the extra volatility you're taking on. A higher Sharpe Ratio indicates that an investment is providing a better return for the level of risk involved. In conclusion, Navigating the landscape of risk and return requires a solid understanding of both systematic and unsystematic risks. By recognizing these factors and aligning them with your investment strategy, you can make more informed decisions that suit your financial goals. Remember, investing is not just about chasing returns. It's about managing risk effectively to achieve sustainable growth over time.